Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm going to be telling you a story about this particular DIYs that I made last year for my daughter-in-law and also I made this before I had my YouTube channel and I made this one um, this week, up today actually for her. I made one for me and for her. Also this one too. And she gave me some that I made last year and she bought last year but it didn't match her her theme this year and I said you know what give them to me and I'll make them match the theme of your Christmas decorations which is red white and green because last year she had a blue and this year she was like nope I don't want it blue anymore so I'm not gonna use these things and I said give them to me I'll fix them for you and then I'm gonna tell you which ones they are and here is the one I made for her using the back of the gift bag from Target that I did and this is mine. I framed mine and I did the other one a little differently. And so this one had the blueberries, this polar bear. And she said, I'm not going to use it because it doesn't match. And I said, well, give it to me. I'll change the blueberries for red berries. And that's what I'm doing right now, changing it up. And I'm going to be doing a wreath, showing you how I made those wreaths at the very end of this video. You'll see. That will actually be for this polo bear. And all of those stems and picks that you see here is from Dollar Tree also. And just a reminder, if you like my content, please subscribe and like and share with your friends and family. So this one I also made for her last year, but I did use blueberries because um, her theme, of course. So I'm taking them away. I bring those red berries from the Dollar Tree and I also bring all the greenery and things that I have picked before that I've been using and that's how I, I cut them it's easier for me sometimes to just cut them like that
And there I'm going to show you only how I did one side. Because the other side is practically the same thing. And I made this little bow using my ribbon that I picked up at Dollar General for a dollar. And I really like... Um, when I make this kind of bows, I want the letters to be seen. How they meant to be seen. Like Merry Christmas. Of course, the little Merry Little Christmas. You can't see the little Christmas because it's right there squished up but I love I love how it turned out what do you guys think I love it I fix it up and now I'm going to show you how I make those wreaths that you saw there using one scarf oh, my daughter's gonna make fun of me I never say that word right anyways from Dollar Tree and I am only gonna use one you'll see you just have to cut I cut three long strips and it's more than enough to make this 18 inch wreath from Dollar Tree. So I fold it and then I cut the bottom. The rest is self-explanatory. <laughs> This is the biggest wreath you can find at Dollar Tree, 18 inch for a dollar, not bad. And as you can see, two long strips almost cover the whole wreath form. And I even had enough to make a bow. I was considering this ribbon on my right hand to make a bow for the wreath, but I said no, it just it didn't match. So I ended up using the leftover fabric from the scarf.
And I'm going to be using two of these bells that I purchased at Dollar General for a dollar. And I thought they might look good, but I did not like the gold and the chain that it brought, so I had to change it. And these berries I also bought at Dollar Tree. Now I'm placing the polo bear to see how it looks, but it's squishing the bow that I made. It doesn't lay right, and so I decided to take away that wired. It was a bit difficult, but I managed to do it. I decided to glue the polo bear to the wreath so it would lay better. And let me take a moment to thank you for those who stayed at the end too. And please like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to get notified every time I upload. I appreciate you guys so much being here with me. I hope you enjoy my DIYs and this is the end result. Take care. Bye bye. God bless.